but it's hard and it's lonely it's very lonely i just know that if that loneliness can exist so can other things and i will be okay well snow white is like maybe the only racially specific white princess because it's in the name and it's not like greatly evil if a person is cast as what the part is Anya Taylor-Joy might just be the person to save Disney as the many controversies surrounding the Snow White movie have led Disney to make major changes in the movie, and even the casting. Fans are now excited at the possibility that Anya has been offered a Disney contract, which might mean she is saving the Snow White movie. When the first news of who would be playing Snow White came out, it's safe to say that many were displeased with the fact that a Latina would be taking on the role. However, things only got worse when a picture picture from set revealed how Snow White would look. Seeing the pictures, many were angry not only because of the dwarfs, which were no longer dwarfs, but because of the fact that Snow White isn't pale. Despite it being one of her defining features, both in the original Brothers Grimm story and the Disney movie, many immediately started addressing this as woke as it looked like forced representation for something that didn't need it, especially since Snow White has been such a staple and an icon in Disney's history. Upon seeing how Rachel looked in the costume, many started speculating who else could take on the role and do a much better job at it. One of the names that really shined was Anya Taylor-Joy, as many felt like her beautiful features and pale skin would be a perfect fit for Snow White, especially if she was to dye her hair brown. One user suggested the actress saying, how hard is that? For example, Anya Taylor-Joy as Snow White and seven actual dwarfs, I would even watch that. This isn't the only time Anya's name has come up in this conversation. In fact, it's something that has been in talks for many years now as even a fan casting page was made for Anya back in 2019. The page asked users whether or not she'd make a good Snow White and one person even replied saying, that's the perfect Snow White. Things have only spiraled from there as many people have commented on how great Anya would be in the role. Anya would have been an incredible Snow White. She naturally looks like royalty. And it sounds like Disney has had Anya on their radar for a while now and have even been in contact with her in the past, as she has actually been offered a role by them right before her big break in The Witch. According to her, she was actually offered a role for a Disney Channel pilot episode, the very same day she was offered her role in The Witch. She explained exactly how honored and excited she was to be considered at the time, and why she, despite it all, decided to turn the role down. I remember it was the same day I got asked to be in a Disney Channel pilot, and it was so exciting to be offered anything at all that I ran around the house like a loon. But I just had this really good feeling about The Witch that made me willing to forego the Disney experience for the thing that felt unknown to me, the thing that felt sacred. Anya also explained that the role had been a huge risk for her, something she had even ended up regretting for a while as she felt unsure about her performance. I thought I'd done a really bad job and I saw myself failing miserably with this dream I'd had for such a long time. I guess I'm not always the best judge of my own work. However, seeing as the role turned out to be a huge success, which launched her career into the stars, it was hard for her to regret turning Disney down and she revealed how she still holds the witch very close to her heart despite her initial feelings. It gave me the cornerstones of the way I work now, which is essentially the idea that there is no hierarchy on set. You work hard, you stay on top of the shots, and you don't assume anyone else is going to do that for you. Now, with Anya making big moves in Hollywood, getting cast in movies such as Dune 2 and George Miller's Furiosa has no doubt gotten Disney's attention. And it sounds like there's a high possibility Anya might get to replace Rachel in Snow White, finally fulfilling the wishes of everyone who has imagined her in the role for so many years. When Disney first contacted Anya, Anya, it sounded like it would be for an unknown TV show pilot. However, by turning it down, she now has the possibility of starring in one of Disney's most anticipated movies and perhaps even saving the company from the predicted box office flop. With the way things have been moving with both Rachel Zegler's internet presence and the many controversies surrounding the Snow White movie, it's starting to become pretty clear that not many people are willing to see the movie, which is why Disney is not in high 
high alert and is looking to make a change significant enough to save its audience. In fact, it all seemed to start with the dwarfs, who became such a big controversy that they weren't just changed once, but twice, leading to even more delays for the movie. Disney is obviously prepared to deal with these sorts of setbacks, as they know that pleasing fans is a priority in such a big controversy, and they've shown that with enough uproar, a change can be made. After Peter Dinklage criticized Disney for depicting the dwarves, something which can be offensive to little people, Disney changed the characters into magical forest creatures, which in turn gathered even more backlash both from fans who were excited to see the movie, from their childhood depicted in live action. Even other Little People actors came forward to criticize both Disney and Peter Dinklage for this choice, as they highlighted how hard it is for them to find roles and how those seven roles could have gone to people in their community. Disney did listen to this criticism, which is why they went back to the drawing board and decided to change the dwarfs yet again, which in turn delayed the production by an entire year. However, it looks like fans aren't any happier than they were before, as even though we do have the dwarfs back, they are actually all CGI and they all have Kleba's face. While this solved one problem, it seemed to completely ignore others and even made it worse as no little people were hired to play the roles. Fans aren't very happy with the actual look of the dwarfs either, which is why so many people have started putting even more pressure on Rachel Zegler's casting. It seems like Disney just keeps making things worse, which is why many people think that the only way to redeem the quality of the movie is to fix the Snow Waddy casting by doing something about Rachel Zegler. With the added pressure of fans getting even angrier, Rachel has been forced to stay quiet in interviews regarding the movie. But while no more weird interviews are coming out, people continue to be disappointed by the way Rachel acts online. This is why Disney has decided that the way to save this is to bring in a younger actress, which is supposed to take some of the pressure off of Rachel's shoulders. Disney has revealed that the movie will show a significant part of Snow White's childhood, which will include tons of flashback scenes that will noticeably be cutting into Rachel's screen time. However, even though fans are happy to hear that we will be seeing less of Rachel on screen, a lot of people still believe it simply isn't enough, and that if they can simply cut so many of Rachel's scenes, it means that replacing her role entirely shouldn't be too much of an issue. Now that the movie has been delayed by an entire year, it gives the production plenty of time to explore their options and consider contacting Anya Taylor-Joy for the Disney role she was owed so many years ago. Anya is not only in Disney's good graces, unlike Rachel, who has seemingly been put in several timeouts. But she is also incredibly big in the industry at the moment, meaning that her influence could genuinely save the movie from what would otherwise be the flop of the century. It's obvious that Disney is slowly trying to push Rachel out of the role, and casting a younger Snow White is only the start of it. By not letting Rachel speak of the movie too much, it gives fans the opportunity to forget her association to the movie, which might help Disney down the road as they can properly remove her from the project project without too much noise. Of course, if she really was to be removed, it would definitely cause a lot of talk online, considering the huge controversy already surrounding the movie. However, it looks as if most of the talk would be in celebration, as the movie would finally be given a chance to flourish in a more positive light. Rachel Zegler also seems to be taking on more roles at the moment, as she has a movie coming up and has even recently been cast in a Broadway production of Romeo and Juliet. This just shows that Rachel doesn't necessarily need the Snow White movie and that she is doing just fine when it comes to her work in the industry. In fact, some people believe she might even be thankful to give the role over to Anya, as she would finally be able to escape all the criticism and could go on and do her other roles without all the weight of Disney on her back. The smartest move for both Rachel and Disney would be to make these majors changes to the movie, as everyone would be leaving the situation with some sort of happy ending. In fact, Rachel has even talked about how she feels severely hurt by the hate she has received following her casting announcement, meaning that even she is getting tired of having to defend her role. And if the movie really ends up flopping, it's possible that the hate will increase even more as people will blame Rachel for its downfall, making her time in Hollywood even worse than it already is.